All right, new third year medical students, listen up, especially if you're starting out on surgery. You have no idea how to present a patient on surgery. This one's for you. But first, you're going to need some boots. I like Ariat. Do the two-tone. Just kidding, you don't really need boots. Surgery was my first rotation, and this was me presenting patients. Patient is a 45... I don't know what you want me to say. Don't be me. When you present on rounds during surgery, it needs to be short and concise. That's why I always use a mnemonic within a mnemonic to guide my presentation. What does that even mean? Just bear with me. The first mnemonic is I overlap. I overlap. I stands for introduction or a one-liner. So for the introduction, you're going to want to say the patient's name, age, relevant past medical history, what day post-op they are, what procedure or surgery they had, and the reason they had it. The patient is a 60-year-old male with past medical history of diabetes, post-op day one, status post, robotic prostatectomy for prostate adenocarcinoma. See, that's easy. Next on the mnemonic is the O, which stands for overnight events. This is where I use another mnemonic, pad buns. <coughs> These are the questions you're going to ask your patients at 4.30 in the morning. Just kidding. Probably not 4.30, but pretty early. P stands for pain. How is your pain? Has your pain gotten any better? Are you taking medications for your pain? Are you actually taking them? Are you asking for your medications? All very important questions. A stands for ambulation. Is your patient walking? Have they tried to walk? Can they walk? How far did they walk? Do they need PTOT? D stands for diet. Do they have a diet? If they have a diet, are they tolerating their food well? Are they eating their food? Make sure you always check their tray because even though they might tell you that they're eating, you look at the tray, all their food is still there. B, that was weird. B stands for bowel movement. Pretty self-explanatory. But if they haven't had a bowel movement, are they passing flatus? Also counts. Urination. Have they been able to urinate since surgery? How much have they urinated? Little have they urinated? What is the color of their urine? This is the place where I sometimes report ins and outs. How much stuff they put in their body, how much has come out. I'll let you think on that. N. Nausea and vomiting. Have they felt nauseous? Have they had any emesis? What color was it? How many episodes of emesis? Are they taking Zofran for it? That's the little tube you give them that they breathe into. This is very important when they're not ambulating. So the way all this looks during a presentation is as follows. No significant events overnight. Pain is well controlled on PR and oxy. He was able to get up and go to the bathroom last night. He's on a clear liquid diet, which he's tolerated well. No reported nausea or vomiting. He hasn't had a bowel movement yet, but he has passed flatus, and he's put out around 700 cc's of amber urine in the last 24 hours. He is using his spirometer. And then after that, if you want, you can throw in a small review of systems, just the big stuff. Fever, chills, shortness of breath, chest pain, leg pain, leg swelling. V stands for vitals. Temperature, heart rate, blood pressure, respiratory rate, and SATs. Were they febrile? What was their T max? How long were they febrile? Were they tachycardic? How high was their heart rate? Were they bradycardic? How low was it? It's always good to give a range. Were they hypertensive? Were they hypotensive? Also a good idea to give a range of their blood pressure. Respiratory rate 18. Did they have any DSATs overnight? Are they on room air or are they on two liters nasal cannula? The patient was afebrile throughout the night. However, he was a little tachycardic to 105, but it wasn't sustained. Blood pressure was in normal limits, and he sat in 99% on room air. E stands for exam. Might I add focused exam? If y'all operated on the abdomen, focus on the abdominal exam. Don't be reporting no full neuro exam on a person who got an X lab. They will roll their eyes at you. Or just walk straight into the room. Look at the bandage. Is it draining anything? What color is the drainage? Make sure it's okay that you can take the bandage off to look at the incision. Look at the incision. Make sure everything looks good. Patient's abdomen is soft and non-distended. No tender to palpation. All four quadrants. Normal active bowel sounds. Surgical incisions appear to be healing well. No erythema. Draining a little bit of sarasinguinous fluid. Um, but overall, looks to be healing well. R stands for radiology, and that's basically any recent imaging in the last 24 hours that you haven't presented on rounds before um, that the patient has gotten. So sorry, I ran out of time on this video, so comment and tell me whether you want me to finish the rest of the mic in another video. Hope this has been helpful. Okay, bye.